electroculture. Is it myth or does it work? Rebel Canners teaching all kinds of food preservation, especially those old ways, and we all need the old days these days. Well, pretty much since the beginning of time, people have noticed that around lightning strikes, the fields have better crops. So experiments around this started back in the 1780s. That's how far this goes back. In the 1920s, there were some patents taken out around this concept. Using electroculture has been shown through these studies to increase crop yields by 100 to 300 percent. That's a big increase. Grain grown under these conditions also help the animals it's fed to grow faster. Talk a little bit about the actual science behind it. These spirals cause a vortex. Um, there's spiral and wire that is used to make like a coil or an antenna. It's called a Lakowski coil. You might recognize these in magnets or on your electrical power lines above your head, they have them. So what are the claims and what are the principles behind them? One of the claims is it decreases the effects of drought by using the coil to draw humidity down into the soil and thereby water, you know the, the dew and the humidity waters your plants every day for you. One of the claims is it pulls the atmospheric energy into the soil much the same way as we use say solar power to run the electricity in our house. We are energizing the soil and making that energy available to plants. Because of this, the plants have more energy, they need less fertilizer, and are more resistant to pests and don't need pesticides. Fun, fun fact about this, uh, fertilizers contain a lot of iron, which binds the energy, scientifically proven, and doesn't make it available to plants. For this reason, the coils are generally made out of copper. Copper contains antimicrobial properties naturally. Another claim is that because of all this released energy, you can harvest sooner your crop. And one of the scientific theories behind all this is that it is the reason why snail shells are encoiled to harness atmospheric energy. The pyramids were a way to uh, create this antenna and funnel the energy down into the soil, uh, in theory. Another part of this theory is using magnets um, from north to south in your garden to help your plants grow larger because of the magnetic field. A lot of garden art follows this, so why not make yourself some garden art and grab a few sticks, grab some coils of copper wire, you know, other odd coils you can find wherever, and oh wait, there's garden structures already that are pyramids. Let's try this. This year I'm gonna experiment with this in my own garden and see if this works. I'll let you know how the results are. Thank you, Rebel Canners, and as always, make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell because 
YouTube doesn't like to show all the videos out. And we have some very interesting series going on. Have a great day, Rebel Canners.